In this video, we're going to look at how to create a survey using Google Docs. And it's really quite easy, so I'm going to just take you through that right now. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to drive.google.com. Once you're there, you will have to log in, or if you're logged in, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. What you want to create if you're making a survey is a Google form. So go to new because you're creating it down to more and what we are trying to do is create a Google form. So click on Google Forms. All right, so if this will load. All right, great. So now the first thing you want to do is decide whether or not you want your survey taker to have to, to have a Google login. I want my survey taker to have a Google login because I would like to see who's taking my survey, but that's not absolutely necessary. All right, great. So you want to name your survey. So let's call this survey my fun survey. Of course, you're going to name yours whatever you want. And my first question, I want to be a multiple choice question. There are several options. I will choose multiple choice for now, and then I'll show you another question type later. So my first question is, how do you like to have fun? And I could give my readers a prompt here. I could help them along with this question, but it's a pretty easy question. So I'm just going to leave that blank. And again, this is multiple choice, but I could have made, a, made this a checkbox question or I could have my readers choose from a list. We'll see another example in a second. So multiple choice for now. Okay, uh, let's say one option is sing, another option is dance. I'm pressing enter to go down to the next screen. Um, another option is play and I could keep going. It could be multiple, multiple, multiple choices, but I'm going to stick with three. And so once I stop entering, it will stop giving options. I want to make this question required, which means that my survey taker will have to answer that question before completing the survey. I'm not going to say done because I want to add another question. So instead I'm going to add item. So I add an item and now you see the first question is there and now I can make a second question. I'm going to say what type of songs do you like to sing? It's more open-ended this question. So I wouldn't make that multiple choice. Perhaps I'd make that a text question. And now make it required and now when I say done I have a two question survey. Now if I want to see what this looks like, well let's make it a little pretty first. If I want to change the theme, I of course can go to change theme and already you see it looking a little bit fancier. Let's put it on an island. So now this really does look like a fun survey. Okay and so that's what your survey takers would see. Now, if I want to share this survey with others, I could go to File, I could use Embed, and put that on a website, but that's not what you want to do. The easiest thing for you to do, perhaps would be to say, Send Form. So now, you have a link here that you can copy and paste into your email. Or you can directly email this form to a friend of yours and press send. So you have two options. You can send the form, send the form with a link, or you can send it directly from this. Now, once you've sent your form out, the last thing that you're going to have to do is, of course, look at your responses. Now, I haven't had anyone fill this survey out yet. But once I do have someone fill the survey out, I would go to responses. I would click on responses and I would then have to initially choose my response destination. I would like my responses to go into a new spreadsheet. And this is this may be a step that you don't have to do, but because I've never done this before, 
I have to set this up. So my new responses will go into a spreadsheet, a new spreadsheet. I'm going to press create. And it's now set up a place where I can see my survey responses. So now I can click view responses. And a beautiful thing happens. I will see all my survey responses in this spreadsheet. And so I can now use a spreadsheet and get my information into an Excel file. In order to do that, so my information would be in the spreadsheet, I'd see a bunch of stuff. I will go to File, Download as, Microsoft Excel. I would save my fun survey, or I'd open it. Let's just open it so you can see what it would look like in Microsoft Excel. And now I have all my survey results, all zero of them, in an Excel file ready to do some wonderful math with.